simple, direct. Moves to remove pieces from the board strategically. And the massive thing is that strategically. When the fancy dancing starts happening, that's when you say to yourself, hmm, they're actually still looking to get my pieces off the board, but they're just doing a fancier way of doing it. If I can simplify that method, then I'm on to a winner. That's the idea. So this rook now is facing our queen. We don't like the maples, but our bishop is not developed at the minute. So let's just bring the bishop here because there's going to be some type of attack here trying to get our queen. At the minute, I'm believing it's going to be okay. Oh, maybe that was supposed to move down a lot more. So we'll go on castle. So they're x-raying. Well, they're basically attacking the knight now. It looks like it's a little bit late to the party. So we're going to attack the bishop, see what he wants. Let the queen have this pawn. So it's greedy munching. All you need to focus on is attacking the higher pieces with the lesser pieces and removing them from the board when you can. We're still conscious that this rook is looking to get the queen. This is why they're moving so fast. Going to hit their queen. Our rook is defending the rook at the moment. So we're going for simplification. Just going to capture nice and steady away. Now this pawn doesn't have any protection behind it. So there'll be some sort of fancy way of trying to get this pawn, such as attacking the pawn, etc. Going to double their pawns by actually taking the knight off the board, simple direct manoeuvres. Looking to now double on this file, keeping it simple so we can lean on their king. So their king is probably going to start darting across the other side of the board. It hasn't done that just yet, so it looks like we could... Bring the rook here, making it look like we're going to defend, but we're not. Although we can move the bishop out of the way and just x-ray through and still continue with the rook attacking the king here. And he's attacking the bishop. Bishop can just move out of the way. If he's attacking it again, we can just move it out of the way. So that's no problems. Probably adds a bit more weight to the rook getting to this position. So he's looking. It's a single rook, so I'm not even worried about that. Didn't even bat an eyelid because we are looking to do this situation. Got this rook taking this pawn. Well, obviously it can't if it's up there. All right, so let's hit the rook king. Now, it's on a white square at the minute. So we was thinking of coming here, but now the knight is um, defending this square. So we could just take the rook off the board. Yep. So that works quite nicely for us. And then we just go and attack the king again. And at this point, it feels fairly nice because we're going to be getting a pawn off the board. <sighs> Excuse me. That fly. Or some sort of form. Bishop taking or the rook taking here. Don't look to disturb us, obviously. So move the king. So looking at the complications that may be attempted to, let's just take. Don't overcomplicate it. If you've got something to take and you're in good balance, then you may as well go ahead with that. So they've allowed us to get a bit of freedom, going to attack with a check and get his rook off the board. We'll claim victory on that one. 